Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gridiron's Recap, sponsored by the attorneys of Keller and Holland and the Jason Coronios team at Country Financial. I'm Dan Irons, out here at Palatine High School. Battle of the tracks, an instant classic. Undefeated friend comes in here. Palatine knocks him from the ranks of the undefeated. They win their sixth game. Uh, I'm here with Cole Fager, two touchdowns tonight. Ryan Donnelly, a pair of touchdowns tonight. It was 28-21 with 48 ticks left. Frem was on the one-yard line. Palatine defense comes up big, gets the turnover and the W. Cole, just talk about this win tonight for this program. You know, the whole week, our goal is just to be dominant, be aggressive, make plays, and do what we do. And I think that we did that perfectly tonight uh you know our offense like i always do i always give credit to the offense we got some hogs up there i'm telling you right now i feel so comfortable running behind them that that's what you want they were a pleasure to watch tonight let's get to all the highlights Battle of the Tracks on a Thursday night out in Palatine. The 5-1 Pirates hosting undefeated friend with over 5,000 people in attendance. Palatine started the game with possession and couldn't do much with it on offense, but in the punting department, you betcha. QB Will Santiago pins the Vikings at their own one for their opening drive. And Fremden has 99 yards to go. That's 99 problems, but a score ain't one of them. Northwestern bound signal caller Johnny O'Brien matriculates his team down the field and then finds favorite target Brennan Sachs on a 22-yard TD strike. 7 0 Fremden midway through the first. Just over three minutes later, Palatine evens it up at 7 0 when Santiago hits Ryan Donnelly. What a snag! 44 yards to the house, and the crowd goes berserk and the game is tied at the end of one. Early second now, Frem put together another impressive drive and got all the way down to the Palatine 15, but on fourth and one, the Pirates D answers the bell and stops the Vikings in its tracks, no pun intended. Pirates with the momentum and facing a third and 10 on the ensuing drive, Santiago chucks it up to Swiss Army Knight Colt Fager, comes down with a 35 yard catch to keep the drive alive. And later in that drive, operating out of the Wildcat, Fager punches it in from a yard out to make it 14-7 home team with 5.34 to the break. Just moments later, O'Brien evens up that score and finds Sacks again. This time, 59-yard pitch and catch. These two make it look so easy. 14-14 at that point, and that was the score at intermission. Vikings started the third with the ball, but a field goal attempt went for naught, and the Pirates capitalized. Fager. 22-yard TD run gives Palatine a 21-14 edge with 5.55 to go in the stanza. Back come the Vikings. O'Brien, his third TD pass of the night as he hooks up with Aiden Patel on a 16-yard pitch and catch, and it's 21-21 with 4.20 to go in the quarter. Under a minute to go now, and reverse! Santiago flanked as a wide receiver, takes the ball and finds a wide open Donnelly for his second TD grab, and Palatine regains the lead once again at 28-21. Great play call there. And that was the score headed to the final frame. Once again, the Vikings battle right back and got all the way to the Palatine 30, but on fourth and four, they elect to go for it, and it's batted down. What a clutch moment for the Pirates' D. Pirates then worked some time off the clock on a very time-consuming drive that ultimately led to no points, and Fremden had one last chance to tie it from their own 20 with 2.28 left in regulation. As expected, they promptly marched down the field, and with 47 seconds remaining, were knocking on the door at the Palatine 1. But it's a fumble! Into the end zone, Palatine recovers, and they win it in dramatic fashion, 28-21, as the fans storm the field and join in the celebration both teams are now 6-1 and one on the year. Well, hey, that's it from Palatine High School. For Gridirons, I'm Dan Irons.
Yeah.